So here's how you get your classification project done if you're working on an iPad. So remember, you're trying to get a picture. You know, I'm assuming you've already got this part. You click on the picture to select it. You can't just copy these pictures directly. Um, it doesn't work that easily. Once you've got it, see those three dots right here? Those are the ones that give you more options. We want view all sizes. And when you view all sizes, that's when you can select a pretty, you know, pretty good size. You don't want it too big or too small. Once you're at medium 500, tap and hold, save image. That's going to save it on your photo album. Okay. Now when you're on Office Squared, you've got your classification document. Um, let's say I want to put that flying insect under my bug classification. So I'm going to go to where I have bugs. Gee, I got reptiles there. There's my bugs. And I'm going to return, keep hitting return till I get to where I want. And then this icon right here, that looks like a portrait, is where I'm going to add pictures. And I have to give it permission. So I'm going to go to my camera roll where I just put that bug and that is how I place a picture on my document. Now right here, this button right under the close um, is how I save. So when I tap that I can save as to change the name of my document or I can just uh, choose save. Now right above that, right next to the close, is where I can access all my different files. See the folder icon next to the garbage can? I'm going to tap that. I'm going to choose my classification document. I'm going to go to copy. Now I want to go into G1 and I'm just going to put it in there unless you want to make a folder for it. Which I don't know if you can do that this way. So let's just choose G1 and put it in there. It's going to do its thing and that's how you get it into uh, Google Drive. Once you do that we're going to go back to Safari and I already made a tab for Google Drive. Now when you first log into Google Drive using Safari, it's the mobile view. Go all the way to the bottom and choose right down at the very bottom, it says mobile or desktop. Choose the desktop view and continue to desktop version. That version gives us a lot more menu items and, and uh, capability. Okay, so there's my document right there. Now, I don't want to tap on the name of it because it's going to open it in Google Viewer. And I don't want that because I can't do anything. So there's a box right in front of it. I'm going to select it by putting a check in the box. Then I'm going to go to where it says More. And I have to select Open with Google Docs. Don't choose Google Viewer. That doesn't help you. Google Docs is what you want. So if it loads forever, it looks like if you just close that tab and reload this tab, it shows up there. See the difference? The one with the W is a Word document. You can only view it. The one with that blue box with white lines on it is a Google document. Now let's see if this opens. Let's try it again. And There. Now it worked. Okay. So here you have the edit um, because it's on mobile view. And we want to go to desktop view again, because the desktop view is where we get the embed code. So I'm going to continue to the desktop version. See, that's what we want. We want the menu, we want the tools, and better yet, when we go to file, I can now get embed code. Um, the share feature is really good too. Whenever you make a science document on Google Docs, always share it with me. You can also change it from private, tap on change, and you've got the choice to do um, anyone with the link, which is a good one, and let them so that they can only view, but if you're going to share with me, make it so I can comment or even edit, because then I can help you out a lot more. So I'm going to leave it at, as can view, because I don't want anybody, but down here where it says invite people, um, always share it with me, that way um, I can access it and see your work 
give you feedback and uh, give you credit for it. And you just need to type Al underscore Gonzalez at CSD 49.org. And that, that'll do it. You type that right there. I don't know why that's not working. But that's what you want to do. Whew, isn't this fun? Okay, so let's pretend I did that. Now we go to File. And you want to choose Publish to the Web. It's down here under Download As. And this is what you want. Automatically republish when changes are made? Yes. Make sure that is checked. Start publishing? Yes. Do you want to do it? Of course you do. That's why you clicked on Start Publishing. And you go down here, and you want to select just in there so you can get into that embed code. Now, this is there. You want to have the, the, the blue inside, not on the outside. Let's see if that worked. Let's go into our blog. Go to Articles. I kind of already started one, so I'm going to paste it in there. So let's say you already started uh, typing your story of your World of Warcraft character in um, Blogmeister on your blog. And you're going to now paste the embed code to your document. You just have to open it up again. And there it is. I've already started it, so it's under Articles. So I'm going to select it and load it. I'm going to go down here, hit Return a couple of times, hold and paste. Oh, well that's got a lot of stuff I don't need. So let's see. So it's kind of hard to get it right where you want it. But that thing after the angle bracket there, I got rid of. See that what looks like a greater than sign? That should be the very last thing. Now where this starts is where it says iframe. So put a cursor right in front of that less than sign in front of iframe and get rid of all that other code. See, knowing a little bit of code helps you fix these things. So uh, it's good to know what you're looking for. So that all that other stuff, um, it copied it because when I selected the blue, it was too much. One other thing I want you to do here is get rid of that S after the P in HTTPS. There. Now I've got some good code here. So if you haven't already, make sure you select the assignment, Classifying Living Things. And if you want to request publishing just to see what it looks like, go ahead. Otherwise, don't request publishing until you're done. But keep saving it. For some reason it says old is zero. That's a good thing. So that's how you embed your document from Google Docs onto your blog. Good luck because I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.